Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. So this is going to be Jeep video number 48 on my salvage build. Um, so I bought this Jeep uh, at Copart about a year and a half ago and I'm rebuilding it or building it from the salvage Jeep. I'm going to save one from the wrecking yard. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video. Hit that bell so you get the alerts when I release new videos. Um, I organize my videos into playlists so be sure to check out the Jeep build playlist. And let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. And most of all, I hope this helps you with your project. So um, let me grab some gloves here. So today's video is I'm going to take the oil pan off the engine. Um, and uh, I flipped the engine over today. Uh, so um, it's much easier to work on it out of the vehicle and with the engine upside down. I'm going to kind of check the camera angle here. So, I'm using a uh, DeWalt 3H drive um, brushless uh, impact wrench. This is a hog ring edition. This, you're going to need an 11mm socket. The other thing I recommend is find yourself a nice big piece of cardboard so you can organize the bolts so you know where they came from and where they go to. Uh, it's probably also a good idea to print out the pages from the factory service manual. You can get the factory service manual in a variety of places. Um, you actually could buy it if you wanted to, but um, I downloaded it off the internet and it seems to be pretty accurate. Um, so what I'm going to do is as I take the bolts off, I'm going to mark them. So I've got one, two, three, four. And the fastest way to keep the pen is to just stab it into the cardboard. Alright, so just stick those in there and that way we know where they came from. Okay, so on the right side I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So these bolts are different sizes and that is part of the reason you want to keep them in their right position. It will save you hassle later. So you notice this one's much smaller. And this one is much longer.
right, so on the back we have one, two, There's a little hoop thing in the back. Um, honestly, it's a it's a brace, and I think it makes up for what's arguably a pretty shitty design. It's bad enough that it uses what seems like 35 bolts. part of the issue. It didn't seem like that bolt was really in there. I've got a rear main seal that's leaking, so that's why I'm going in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've got eleven, but number three... is a stud. So, I'm going to take one of my many excess tools and just stick it in here. Oh, and what do you know? The whole stud comes with it. That's not supposed to happen. Two more. All right, so let's get the admission of failure from Chrysler out of here. I'm sorry, but when you have to put a brace over your oil seal, it, it's an admission that your pan is not strong enough. Um, should come free at this point. Of 
course, you know, should and does are two different things. You know, where the fuck are my screwdrivers at? There's one. So I'm just going to use this in the edge. You do not want to dig on the ceiling surfaces, but it's okay to dig at the outside edge. Because all you're trying to do is break the seal. Alright, new gloves. I'm trying really hard not to get any dirtier than I have to be. Moment of truth, let's see what kind of shit's in here. Well, it's cleaner than I expected it to be. not really want that on the floor, but I also didn't want to, uh, I just didn't have any good options there. Oh, it's a two-piece, uh, alright, it's a two-piece gasket. Wow. Get that got there, damn it. And again, I'm just going to dig at the edge. There we go. Uh, everything actually looks pretty good. This engine has 111,000 miles on it. Um, if we assume that it has never been out, uh, other than you know routine maintenance, and it's never been rebuilt, and I don't see anything to indicate that it has been. Uh, I don't see any signs of naughtiness. Um, it looks like a really nice clean engine. Uh, I've got some junk here, but I think I just put that there and uh, a little bit of deposit activity that I don't like. Uh, there's some gunk that's built up inside here, but you know that's pretty typical. Um, so, you know, we're after this seal, and it looks like we took part of the seal out with us. So this is the offending seal. I think the two-piece seal is a shitty design. Again, it's just crappy-ass engineering, and I don't see... So somebody's done this gasket before because I don't I don't see what I should and um, you know what I should see is um, I, I should see uh, anaerobic gasket maker down here and I should see some other stuff that I don't see. So that tells me that somebody did an improper repair and that's why it's leaking. Could have been the dealer, um, you know. Their standard of repair is not always as high as my standard of repair because I don't want to have to fucking do it again because the next time it will probably be upside down and I don't want to have to do it upside down. But I definitely don't see what I should see, according to the factory service manual. There should be anaerobic gasket uh, maker. I do see a little bit of RTV here. That's good. Not right, but it's good. It's, it's a good thing. And um, 
other than that, this looks like pretty straightforward. You know, the the uh, cam looks pretty good. I don't I don't see anything nasty. Uh, let me look at the bottom of the oil plug. Yeah, there's a couple little things on here, but nothing. I don't have any grit, so that's that's the main thing I'm looking for. Um, So it looks like the uh, oil filter was doing its thing, and it's a uh, cheap-ass Valvoline oil filter. You know, people always like to beat Fram up. I, I don't know what the issue is with Fram. I, I get it. People say it's cardboard, but you know what? I've been running Fram for years, and I actually do oil analysis on my oil. So I send it off to a lab and have my oil checked, and I've never heard anything bad about my oil with Fram filters in Mobile One. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um... So, I, I, I want to take this pickup tube out. Um, I have a new one. Don't know if I need a new one, but I decided that I would order it. And I want to take the oil pump off, but I, it just would be easier to do this with those out of my way. Um, but that's really all there is to this video. I really need to clean this up, so I'm going to have to see what I clean this up with. It's a nice... It's a nice surface. There's no nothing, nothing that really bothers me. Um, you know, the joints need some cleanup here, so that's not a big deal. And um, but I'm really in here for this rear main seal, so I'm going to do that as a separate video. But before I do, let me do some video in here. And you know, where the hell did my flasher light go? There it is. So I'm just, this is a opportunity for me to do a nice inspection on this. Cylinders and um, the pistons look good. I don't see anything that looks like it's broken. Oil pump looks good where it mates with the cam. Why in the fuck they would not do an overhead cam? So. All right, let me get the camera and show you guys. All right, so again, everything looks pretty good in here. I don't see any damage. Uh, cylinder walls look good. Uh, the um, lobes on the cam look good. Keep in mind, this engine has not run in at least 18 months. Um, so there is some, I don't like this discoloration on the pistons, but I think that's pretty normal. I don't see any signs of distress. Little side to side. Um, I'm gonna have to check and see, but I bet that's within tolerances. Cause you know, it's a cast iron engine. It's a cast iron crankshaft. Um, I don't know why there is a bolt back there, but we'll deal with that too. Um, timing chain looks nice. I don't see anything to be worried about there. And uh, but we're we're back here, and there should have been anaerobic gasket sealer here. Should have been a piece right there, and I I don't see very much of it. So I got to get this this surface uh, cleaned off. And uh, I see a little bit there, but I just, I don't see the amount that I should, and that's probably why it's leaking. Um, so, 
Uh, oh, you know what? That was part of that. That wasn't the seal. That was, yeah, but this is going to have to come off. So um, this brace is going to have to come off in order to uh, get to um, this main cap has to come off to get that seal. So anyway, yeah, there should be some sealant underneath here. And uh, all right, that's it for this episode. Oh, where the hell I can put that? There it go. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting and helpful. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.